What is Shadow Assassin Armor? Some say it's just a relatively inexpensive set that allows Juju Nons to afford the Juju. But since the Juju was nerfed and now the Juju Shortbow requires Enemy Slayer 5, this armor set is now dangling on the edge of irrelevancy. But this hasn't always been the case. Way back at the end of 2020, this was debated to be the best set of armor on the game. And you can definitely understand why, with the great strength buff, crit damage, health, defense, and speed, plus a relatively low requirement of Catacombs 5, this was a ridiculous armor set. Also, its full set ability, where you essentially get stronger progressively throughout a dungeon, made it very, very good. But most good things come to an end at some point. In November of 2020, just around about two months after the Shadow Assassin set was added, the Necron set was added which is better. Although back in 2020, the Necron set was pretty inaccessible considering it cost a lot of coins that a lot of people didn't have at that point. And also this set required Catacombs Floor 7 completion, which obviously back then you could buy carries, but was still pretty difficult. Now, of course, carries were also pretty expensive. Coins were not easy to come by back then, which left a lot of people just using Shadow Assassin armor because not only was it good, it was way cheaper and easier to obtain. Over time, the Necron set has been way more accessible and way more people have basically got it and able to use it, which has sort of left the Shadow Assassin set just in the shadows. Now it goes without saying for newer players, it's a very good, viable, earlier game set made popular by the Juju Nons, but how good actually is it? Is it still good? Because I believe a lot of people don't think it is, just because we're so used to Necron and all the new armor sets in the game. Well, today we have a newly acquired Shadow Assassin armor set and we're going to test it out. Now you might be thinking, Nitros, you've clearly got coins, like look at these armor sets, you know, look at your bow, look at your sword, like you've got coins, why do you have a pesky set? Well, first of all, realistically, if you have Shadow Assassin armor, you're probably on somewhat of a budget, so you're not going to have a fully maxed out set, so I don't really see the point of testing a fully maxed out set. Second of all, despite my items, I have 13 mil in the bank, so I was also on a budget, and also, I actually only bought half the set because I was so broke um, I had to get help from the guild. So, well, thank you, first of all. Nevertheless, this is a set that we're going to be testing. It's all ancient, five-star, and the hot potato. Um, it, it will be all hot potato in just a moment. I did not realise. Nothing to see here at all. Anyway, as I was saying, this is the armor set. Um, this is the weapon. We're going to be testing it with a livid dagger. Did have a shadow fury, but I actually had to sell it to buy the rest of the shadow assassin set. So we've downgraded a little bit, but I feel like it's a little bit more fitting. I think we're going to use this tiger pet as well. You have to bear in mind that my magical power is 876. I've got my power stones and hurtful. So the damage that I do might not be the same damage that you do. Anyway, with a livid dagger, uh, we're going to test it out. Um, I did not see what we did. So 234k. We just do it again to see if it's consistent. Yep, yeah, still 234k. Looks about right. With the back hit, we're doing... Well, that was... That was a back hit, but apparently not, according to Skyblock. Um, do you mind just... Um, 469k. So, honestly, pretty good. Can't really complain of that at all. Now, according to Skycrypt, this set costs around about 55, 56 mil, but that isn't true at all, because apparently this chest plate's 26 and a half mil. Literally just paid about 20.5 mil for it, so... Yeah, the set's probably worth closer to around 40 mil, I'd say. Maybe 45 Anyway, I'm also going to test it with a bow. Um, now, I don't have a Juju, but I do have a Terminator. Now, we are going to change our Power Stone out to Fortuitous. Um, will be the best for the uh, Terminator, because crit chance issue. Anyway, with the Terminator, our damage is 121k. But obviously, we can shoot three mobs at once. But yeah, 121, 124, something around that sort of margin. Now, of course, this bow does have Soul Eater, so that's probably why the damage seems so low. If we go to the Crypt Ghouls, we can do... More damage. So that was 155k. Yeah, slightly more, 188. And then if we go further, if we go to the end, the damage we're going to be dealing is, well, that's not even a crit, 239. So we can still deal a decent amount of damage with the Terminator, even just in Shadow Assassin. Now, what I'm going to do is do the exact same test, but in this Necron set, and uh, we've got a Trancher Helmet too, just to see the difference. Granted, a lot of the upgrades on this set are more geared towards survivability, like protection and, and, and growth and so on. Regardless of that, it's still a recombobulated Necron set, so I want to see what the difference is. So in Shadow Assassin, with our Livid Dagger, 234k. And then the exact same test up, but Necron and Tarantula Helmet, 270, what was that, 274? 274k. So it's not really a massive difference. So now we're going to go to the end and do the exact same test. We're now using Necron Armor with our Terminator. And you can see the damage that we're doing is... Let me get a proper hit. Yeah, that isn't a proper hit. 257k. 
Though, to be completely honest, the actual change in damage between Shell Assassin and Necron using the Juju on the higher end mobs is still fairly minuscule for the price, not gonna lie. But we all know when you get further into the game, it costs considerably more to actually see a change in damage. Anyway. Now considering this set costs closer to 300 mil, obviously there's, there's quite a big difference in price too. Now I've got to be honest, when I first upgraded from Shadow Assassin to Necron, I was very, very, very underwhelmed. Granted, I could notice that the survivability was quite considerably better, despite the stats not being too different. In terms of damage, I really did think for my coins, I would have got quite a lot more. And when you do upgrade from Shadow Assassin to Necron, it may be possible that you think the exact same thing. But the reality is the further that you progress into the game, the more expensive it becomes to see actual differences. Now what I mean by that is at the start of the game, if you know what you're doing, you can drastically increase the amount of damage that you do, just purely because there's so many cheaper things that you could potentially buy or invest in that would have a greater increase on your output of damage. But when you've already exhausted all of the cheap upgrades that you can potentially buy, you then have to move on to more expensive things like your weapon and your armor. Naturally, this is going to be quite expensive. Now, don't get me wrong, Shadow Assassin is almost always going to be a stepping stone to get to Necron. But in terms of value for money on Shadow Assassin, you cannot really complain. I mean, the Shadow Assassin that I used was fragged, but it wasn't even recombobulated. It also doesn't even have gemstones on. Now, I didn't really intend for this video to be me comparing Shadow Assassin to Necron. I just wanted to outline that Shadow Assassin is still a very valid option. Obviously, if you have the coins and the requirements for Necron, you're probably not going to use Shadow Assassin anyway. But I think a lot of people have basically just completely written it off, and it is on the verge of irrelevance. Now, what I do want to do is test it out in dungeons as well, because I feel like, obviously, if, you, if you're going to buy Shadow Assassin, Obviously, you're going to use it to do damage, and, and that damage that you're going to deal is probably majority of the time going to be in dungeons. I mean, it could be slayers too. Now, something I can notice straight away is that Shadow Assassin is just so, so much faster than Necron, just purely because Necron doesn't even give you a buff of speed. So, I guess that's one, I guess, good thing that you can't really... I mean, I mean Necron doesn't give you speed, that's the bottom line. Okay, so our Shadow Assassin, we've currently got just over 100 kills in this run. So we're going to give it a test just to give it a bit more of a chance against Necron. So, um, completely missed that. 12 million damage, okay, that's quite a lot of damage. I was doing around about 3 or 4 million at the start of the run. You can see that one did 4 million, a little bit inconsistent. I'll try and get more of a consistent actual figure. I think it must have been some sort of weird accidental back hit because at the moment I'm doing between 6 to 7 million damage. And that's with around about 110 or 120 kills in the run. Obviously, Shadow Assassin scales depending on how many kills you have in the run. It gives you more strength. Now, we've switched out to the Necron set to see how much damage we'll do now. Okay, so with the Necron set, uh, we're going to be doing around about 10 million damage. That may have been a back hit, though. Okay, we'll test it again. 5 million. 7.6 million. Honestly, the damage is sort of similar. At the start of the run, don't get me wrong, Necron will definitely be better because it doesn't scale and it will start better than Shadow Assassin. But Shadow Assassin gives you speed, and in the long run, the damage honestly isn't too much different. Like, this is Necron, 10 million damage, I don't know. Da damage in dungeons is weird, it is slightly inconsistent. But towards the end of the run, I've got to say, the Necron damage and the Shadow Assassin damage is very, very similar with the same setup otherwise. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not at all suggesting that if you have a Necron set, you should sell it and buy a Shadow Assassin. But I feel like Shadow Assassin... Probably gets bad press quite a lot and probably has done for the past year or so just because people assume, oh, it's just Juju non-armor set. Which I guess it's probably most known for, but not only is it Juju non-armor set, it's actually quite good. And for the price, I mean, I know I said I don't want to compare, but comparing it to Necron is really not bad. Now, I know obviously some people don't even buy the chest plate and that cuts the price down even more if they use a zombie knight chest plate instead. Obviously, with the full set, in dungeons, you get the full set bonus, so... There's two different sides to it. Anyway, that's just about all I've got time for today. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.